I have this uh, alternator I got from Adventure Off-Road and it came with this bracket and the belt. The bracket fits really well. The belt fits well. Everything's good except well, if I raise this up it lines up with my belt right here. So that's not a problem. The problem came here. It hits right here. So this bracket needs to move forward 5 eighths of an inch over here. So what I had to do is add this spacer onto this bracket. It was, it was flat and I welded that on with a hole for the bolt. And then it had a short bolt in it, not long enough. So I looked around through my spare parts car and found a bolt that was longer. So if I put that bolt on, just barely room for it to fit in there. Okay, with this bracket finger tight in here, I just have room to squeeze that over the edge right here. So, oh, I just barely have room for that longer bolt and that spacer in my dipstick right here. There's just barely space. All right, I'm going to leave my dipstick out for now because I just broke that little bolt off. So, so with this bracket on here, the longer bolt here, the spacer that I welded on, then uh, stick the let's put the belt back on there. Okay, I got the belt on. Bring it down so the belt's snug. Now I can uh, put the bolt in here. Now that's all good, except for the one that goes from here to here. This is the original one. If I put that on, you can see that the holes can't line up anymore because I moved it out too far. So I had to make another one of these. So this is the one I made with the longer mounting hole. And it fits and I can bolt that one on on here. I can bolt that one on there and put this one on here. So if you get one of these adventure off-road uh, alternator kits you're still going to have to do some modifications. I had to do three. This spacer on the adjusting bracket here, a longer bolt, and a new upper connector here. And then it all looks lined up. It should be good to go.